welcome to Recall Game Exploits, and we have another random news for you today about Star Wars Battlefront from EA. Now, um, I have always praised the previous two games, Star Wars Battlefront 2 and 1, because of the amount of content they had in them and all the things they could do. Yeah, they were very big and immersive games, at, especially for their time, and you'd expect that trend to keep going in the future. Well, uh, there's an infographic, I've posted it on Twitter, there'll be a link in the description or an annotation somewhere. And um, I'll take it directly to the tweet and you can have a look at the picture yourself on Twitter, plus you can follow me on Twitter you've whilst you're doing that shit. Because reasons! Um, <laughs> and it's, oh, it's terrible! And so I'll give you a quick rundown of some of the, some of the things that this infographic shows. And bear in mind, the release date of Star Wars Battlefront 2 is in November 2005. It is exactly 10 years away when Battlefront by EA is coming out on November 2015. 10 years in the future. Now, this one's telling number of maps. In Star Wars Battlefront 2, there was 33 in total across 16 planets, plus there was four DLC maps. It was one of the first games with DLC on it. In the new Battlefront, there is eight maps and four planets. Now I know that graphically and physics wise games have become more complicated over time, but really? Now I will get back to this point because this that, that really irks me. Uh, it was up to 32 versus 32 players, so 64 players on all game modes. And Battlefront by EA has 20 versus 20, so there's only 40, and that's only on one game mode. Uh, every other game mode there's less. I believe the big game mode is the, um, I described it in the previous video where you got an 80-80, which you cannot control, stomping across the map and you've got to stop him. Or, you know, protect him, one of the two. And that's the biggest game mode, and that's the one with the 2020. Everything else has less than 40 players. 40 players still good, but rip the. Ugh. Space battles! New one doesn't have them. Old one does. Moddable! Yes, the old one was, new one isn't. Uh, DLC, yeah, there's five planned DLC packs. Now we're gonna go back to the maps deal. So, there was 33 total maps across 16 planets with four on DLC. One of the first games to use DLC content. Okay, so let's just assume that it's four maps. Four maps for each five packs. So that would be twenty. Well done, pilot. Head back twenty to the DLC your next objective. maps. So that brings the total to twenty-eight. Do you see where my problem is here? They have in the previous I know in the previous gen they didn't really have DLC, but they did with this game. Um, and they did release a DLC pack and uh, it was four maps and then the rest was on disc. And the old argument is, oh well they could keep it on disc and they'd have to de develop it all in one go and get it perfect because they would be patch it so much blah 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 blah. Well, with this one they could update it, with this one they did have DLC and this one they still had 33 maps on the fucking disc or and, and, and then four maps on DLC. Well you got the exact opposite going on today. Ten years later, we're getting eight maps and twenty DLC maps. Ish. I mean, we don't even know if that's going to be the case. I mean, there might be even less because uh, we don't know how many is actually going to pack. I'm just assuming that there's going to be four maps per pack in those five packs, and I guarantee that's going to be a part of a forty dollar or something season pass. And I'm just waiting for the announcement because it's EA, every game, it's EA policy for every game to have some form of microtransactions in it. That is standard EA blanket corporate policy. I'm waiting for the announcement of what the sodding microtransaction is going to be. This game is totally not going to be a turd at all, I swear. Oh, fuck, why? Why has it come to this? Why? It gets worse. I mean, you wait until you look at the infantry types and the vehicle types. Now it's just loadouts and and the heroes. Oh my god, the heroes! Fuck's sake, seriously. Oh yeah, and there's only bots in one game mode. But like, yeah, if you look at the infographic, I've, I've told you about half of the info that's on there. Have a look. 
the fucking rest. All right, and make your way to if you system. come out of that going, Destroy oh, I'm sure this game would be great, systems. then you fucking stupid. You're part of the fucking problem with modern gaming. You sit there and accept that we're going to get, we're going to pay the same. It's not, we're not even paying the same amount of money. We're paying more money for less content. We used to pay 40 quid, 40 dollars, 50 dollars or something for the games back when Battlefront 2 came out. It was like 35 pounds when I bought it. Or like the PS2 or something. And now we're paying like, you know, upwards of 60, upwards to 60 dollars or 50 pounds. So we're paying more money and getting less than half the content on the disc. And then we're expected to pay essentially more than double what we used to pay to not even get the same amount of content we used to get 10 years ago. We're getting ripped off. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a AAA gaming crash coming soon. There is too many developers going under. Yes, there's still lots of money flowing, but there's only so much that you can shit on your fucking fans and expect them to keep buying your shit when there is actually better independent games coming out. I fucking shit you not. I have literally turned my back on EA University pretty much. I expected this game to be shit. I hated to admit it. I was looking forward to Battlefront. I really was. But now I can't see anything but a fucking cheap, shitty knockoff of Battlefield coming out of this. And Battlefield nowadays isn't even as good as Battlefield was. Bad Company 2 is probably the best Battlefield. But that's just my opinion. It is my opinion. Feel free to have your own if you're looking forward to this game and everything. I hope it turns out really well for you. I really do. But I just can't see the justification in it. Aside from the fact that you say, oh, it's going to take longer to develop the map. <laughs> uh, there's no excuse for that. Yeah, graphical detail, more complicated maps, physics, blah, blah, blah. They're using a pre existing engine that they built for Battlefield 4. Once the art assets done, it shouldn't be too too complicated. I mean, I'm not saying that it's fucking easy. It's just that these guys should be able to do it given the time frame. And frankly, they're not given the time frame, which is why we get such pitiful content. Like, how long has this been in development? Two years? They might claim for. I don't know. It just doesn't seem to match up to me. Thank you for watching Recall Game Exploits. Do that stuff that everyone tells us you do, and I'll see you soon. If you buy Battlefront, I honestly hope you enjoy it, but frankly, I'm going to hold off until you know, a few months after the reviews, because you can't always trust the reviews nowadays either. So I'm going to wait and see what people's opinions are of the game a few months after launch. Anyway, bye.